this is a quite important job here um, sketching on digital because uh, in this way I can save uh, uh, some paper because uh, here I can do my experiments drafts uh, and uh, so on and so forth so that I can save some paper here I'm watching how a scarab beetle is, is made because uh, it will be part of the design but I will explain later and uh, so here I'm sketching on digital then I will use the sketch to trace it and refine the design on paper that's the way that I prefer to create my black and gray design and so this is quite important because uh, this is a railway worker that uh, he had a brutal aggression with a machete and uh, he risked to lose his arm. It was all over the news uh, in Italy in 2015 and uh, he risked to, to lose uh, his arm and his arm was uh, here, some of the scars he had on his arm and uh, well, he really risked to lose his, uh, his arm but uh, fortunately after eight hours uh, full eight hours of uh, sur surgery they reconstructed his arm I don't remember how many specialists uh, participate to this surgery but they were a lot usually they do this kind of job uh, in uh, session by session one specialist uh, uh, recreate a part of the arm uh, then another specialist uh, then another one then another one in this case they work all together for eight hours his mobility is not completely back unfortunately it will never be restored uh, as it was but anyway he has his, his, uh, his arm but at some point he couldn't stand anymore those scars because of course there was the remind of uh, this uh, uh, brutal aggression of this traumatic uh, experience so he asked me to create a tattoo design his idea was about Anubi that is the god of the afterlife in the Egyptian tradition and uh, at but the idea is that uh, basically when uh, here I'm copying a few uh, gears that I will explain later why so he wanted a newbie because uh, as a god of the afterlife uh, in some way when uh, he was uh, on his knees thinking about his death he was thinking he was dying instantly he started thinking about his little baby recently born and uh, he thought I cannot leave her alone and so uh, he think that w that wasn't his moment to die and uh, in this way he also found, found the, the, the strength to resist and survive so Anubi uh, it was this god that said it's not your time that's why there is uh, also a clock that is exploding and the scarab beetle that in the Egyptian tradition it represents uh, rebirth thinking about rebirth I also thought about this man coming out from water because also water is life and is also cathartic so it was uh, another way to reiterate the idea of rebirth Initially, he wanted uh, that Anubi was uh, destroying the clock with a, uh, with a stick, but in my opinion, it wasn't working because, of course, Anubi was uh, in the upper part of the arm and the clock in the, in the forearm. So there was this stick that had to go through the upper part to the lower part, uh, exactly where you're bending your arm, so it wasn't working. So I proposed a big Anubi and uh, uh, exactly the idea of the clock exploding as you can see I traced uh, the gears because of course if I had to recreate every gear with every dent uh, perfectly done uh, it would have taken I, I don't know days and days just for the, for the gears 
So it's an intelligent way to speed up the work. To cover the, the scars, well, to cover is not exactly the, the, the exact way to describe it. Um, I cannot cover the scars, but uh, less, make them less evident. I thought about uh, a lot of movement inside the design, so you can see a lot of decoration around the newbie, the, the water, the men that come, uh, come outside the water, the clock and so on and so forth, so that uh, you cannot see, uh, let's say, a flat part of the design and so that you can concentrate on the scars because when you do some flat surface or some flat uh, shades on the scars uh, well you don't uh, you don't mask them you don't cover them you make them probably a lot more evident to the to the eye so that was my idea and it worked pretty well the difficult part of this tattoo was also that this guy of course, even after years, is he still uh, suffer from post-traumatic stress. So the skin was really hard to tattoo. I had to retrace uh, many parts of the design. Uh, well, you can imagine when you're stressed and uh, you're anxious, uh, even uh, even the needle of a syringe to take your blood cannot go in through your skin. Can you imagine? how hard it is for the little needles of, of a tattoo machine. So that was uh, pretty hard. And he also suffered from uh, a bit of uh, allergy from uh, the anesthetic cream because of course he's suffering because of course there are the scars outside that you can see. But of course this arm is full of scars also inside all the nerves of the all the circulatory system, all the muscle, everything is rebuilt. So, of course, uh, you cannot say to someone, well, usually I don't say to anyone that want to use uh, anesthetic cream, no, you don't use it. I suggest it's better if you don't, but if you'd like, it's not a problem. And in this case, uh, what can you say, of course, if you want to, to work? But, uh, we found uh, well we he finally found out that uh, he was allergic to the cream in fact when i was working on his arm especially in the first uh, session when he was using this uh, uh, this cream his arm was already red completely red so put all together the allergy to the cream the post stress trauma and so <laughs> it was really really difficult but anyway with a lot of patience we we move forward and uh, we complete the design and uh, i have to admit it it was moving listening to his story and uh, everything i have to admit that uh, more than one time i had to uh, i almost found myself in tears listening at his uh, situation uh, the the situation of the aggression uh, the hospital the surgery the surgery his baby and so on and so forth uh, it was really hard and so i always put a lot of effort because of course i want that my client is uh, happy with my with my work but in this situation i felt uh, more responsible than ever to create something majestic something really amazing that he could like it forever and uh, that could give him uh, a bit of serenity after everything he he passed through so uh, yeah it was uh, a moving a moving work and uh, i think it will last with me for a long time the memory of uh, of this work and so as you can see to come uh, go back to the to the work as you can see i developed my my work on paper and after i finish the the design i work on uh, on uh, on my computer to set up a little bit uh, more of contrast uh, clean the paper because of course the paper is not perfectly white so i clean up the the design from the the stain I move forward with the graphite with my hand or with the 
with the paper I use to protect the design. Here you can see I found a, a tool online because um, I created this kind of uh, crown around Anubi. It was a cool idea, <clears throat> but it was empty. So he thought about some symbol and I found online a website where you can put a word and this website convert uh, your words in uh, jeroglyphics. I cannot, I cannot be sure, of course, as, as you can imagine, uh, the accuracy of this website. But anyway, it's interesting. So uh, he told me what he wanted in uh, that, let's call it crown. And uh, I used that, uh, that tool to convert it in uh, jeroglyphics. And so I trace them because, of course, it's another situation where if I had to design one by one at exactly same distance, and so I use Photoshop, I set up all the symbols and then I trace it to finish my design. Another way to, uh, to make intelligent choices to speed up the work. Uh, otherwise, all this, this kind of design already take uh, between uh, three to five days, this kind of designs. So if I had to create uh, everything like the jeroglyphics, the gears of the clock and so on, just by hand, uh, uh, it would have taken uh, more time. Oh, for sure, for the jeroglyphics, not so much, but for the gears uh, to make them perfectly aligned, uh, it would have taken I don't know, <laughs> maybe a week just for that. So it's a shame that the, the light reflects on the graphite and uh, uh, on, on the design because of course it's, it's annoying. You cannot see perfectly the design. So it's a bit of shame, but anyway, I think you can see how, how the work is proceeding. Of course, I, I didn't, uh, I had the idea to make a movie, a video uh, about the work in pro progress, but of course uh, using the camera around an arm is not really mm, convenient, uh, it's not comfortable and uh, of course you have to move constantly the camera around the client and in this situation I, I didn't want to annoy him uh, with the camera and by the way also apart from that the mobility as i told you he didn't gain back uh, completely the mobility of, the, of his arms so apart from everything i said before the allergy to the anesthetic cream and uh, the post-traumatic stress uh, how hard it was to tattoo him uh, also there was this thing because he he doesn't have complete mobility on his arm, so it was quite difficult in many situations uh, work around this uh, this arm. Here you can see I am clean up the, the work. I had a bit of contrast, uh, so I can I can manage my design have it perfectly uh, set up. Also because from a good stencil come a good uh, tattoo, from a bad stencil come out a bad tattoo, of course and uh, so i don't remember exactly how many sittings i spent on this design i think uh, probably six or seven i don't i don't really remember well i paused the recording and i went back to look at how many sittings it was seven sittings at, and about uh, 18 19 hours of work that's not too much but uh, I'm pretty fast in black, in black and gray, and uh, so yeah, it's uh, it's a good work. It made me happy, and especially it made me happy to listen to my client, to this guy, that when I finished the work, when he looked himself on uh, on the mirror, he told me, "Thank you," because I myself I could not see the the scars again and uh, you completely changed my life and uh, I think this is the most uh, gratifying experience uh, a tattoo artist can, can experience. And uh, here it is the complete design after over a month, so it's completely healed and settled. I hope you enjoyed the video, subscribe the channel, click on the bell and uh, see you the next time. Thank you, bye bye.